Howdy grounded guys and gals and welcome back to another grounded update video. I am playing on the public beta test at the moment and doing some testing and things like that. And today we're going to be going over the weapons, uh, what they're making changes to, etc. So let's jump into it. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear like there are any new weapons, except for maybe the Roman candle, which you can use against enemies. Uh, but every other weapon has had uh, a change in how it damages creatures. Previously, the three hit combo used to do 50% damage, 100% damage, and then 150% damage uh, to a creature. But now everything's changed. So it does 100%, 100%, 125%. So that last three hit combo will be bonus damage. Uh, the, we don't know the numbers yet for everything. Apparently they've changed all the numbers of what the damage will be for out the output of the uh, weapons. Also, they changed a lot of the animations and speeds, and that is what we're gonna get into now. And for the two hit weapons like the dagger, we'll do 100%, 100% every time you swing the dagger. So for clubs, they've been buffed on speed. Now they move 15% faster when swinging like the, I'm assuming it would be in like the prod smacker. And for axes and swords, they have a 20% speed boost. We're making them just nice. so much faster and stronger. Speaking of the prod smacker, that damage has been increased. Don't know by how much. And the pinch whacker now, instead of having a random chance to have that AOE electric shock is guaranteed on the third hit combo. Let's see if we can't see that now. And we have our friendly neighborhood roly pull here for testing. So let's give it a smack. Guaranteed on that third hit looks like. That was mine. There, now you're in the floor. How do you feel about that, huh? In addition to the combo damage change, the charge attack has also been changed for every weapon. Uh, haven't seen the exact numbers on that. And the player itself has a base crit chance. So you should be able to crit from day one in the backyard uh, without having to use a mutation to increase that. Another one of the changes that they've made is reducing the cost for mighty globs and mighty jewels. It used to cost two, now it costs one each, which makes it a lot easier to upgrade your weapons mighty if you want to. It also appears that the devs are removing the downsides for specializing weapons. Before, the mighty path used to go up a lot higher than the mint, uh, spicy, salty, and sour, but now they all go up the same amount, regardless if you choose to specialize or not, making it a lot easier to play more casually for just going straight mighty or specializing uh, certain weapons a different elemental path. Some of the new changes the devs will be making is to the underwater combat. Of course, you can always use the rescue spear underwater, but now it will apply infection properly. And the tiger mosquito rapier and the mosquito needle can be used underwater, which means you can start stealing life there. Prepare to have your life stolen, dummies. And of course, you could always use the spider dagger under the water and the widow dagger, but now the spider dagger will apply poison and the widow dagger will apply venom. Yes. The Widow Dagger now applies venom to things, not just underwater, but above water as well, making it, I think, a pretty good boost in damage. Now, of course, the devs didn't leave the uh, the shields out. They increased the tier three block amount um, of all shields, but the one debuff they really added was a debuff to your damage whenever you have a weapon and a shield. Uh, I don't know the exact numbers yet. Hopefully they'll be updated on the wiki soon, uh, but just bear in mind with a shield, now you'll do less damage. And of course, if you made your brilliant weapon maxed out, et cetera, what happens if you accidentally hit the throw button and it uh, goes off into Never Never Land, you forget about it and it despawns. Well, it doesn't despawn now. Now it won't, it'll just stay there wherever it is. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck underneath the map, but at the very least it won't despawn, which is a very good update. Now, in my opinion, the biggest change comes with these four elemental weapons, the Sour Battle Axe, the Coltana, the Salt Morning Star, and the Mint Mace. Now I've contracted a uh, friendly roly poly here and don't worry about his health. I scaled it up for this test here uh, to show off the new form elemental weapons combo attack function. Uh, so on the third hit, each one of them will do something unique. So with the mint mace, we have this um, sp spray that slows down your target. Then we have the salt morning star flies a bleed. And now this sour battle ax. which speeds up your attacks massively. And the final, the Coltana. Now that gives you a perfect block uh, window increase uh, and then also a, an opportunistic parry, which means if you parry during that time, your next attack will be stronger. Now let's look at the uh, Roman candle weapon, I guess you would call it. It does have durability. It will, um, after lighting, slowly take down its durability if you don't constantly use it. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the damage. So it will, as you can see kind of there, it will slowly tick down if you're not using it. So you just have to hold down and it does okay damage. It's, I mean, of course I've 
increase the uh, health of the Black Widow uh, by immense amounts. Uh, but it's a ranged temporary weapon. Now to craft this bad boy, you need gunpowder clumps, berry leather, and sap, kind of expensive. And you need to tier three equipment just to get it. it. Does pretty okay damage, but I don't know if it'll be really useful. We'll have to see how the community reacts, but maybe, maybe this could be a secret uh, uh, killer of bugs. We'll have to see. Now let's take a look and see if we can't see some of these new animations here. I mean, they seem pretty slick. Also they're faster. Everything is faster. Look at that, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And the charge. Oh, charge. Whoa. Oh, I kind of wish it made a swing noise when it did that. Look at that. Just look at it. That would have been awesome. All right, let's take a look here. They seem a little bit more... Every movement seems a little bit more quick, of course, uh, but more chop, chop, chop. So you like chop, chop, chop. So I don't know how that will affect timing and everything like that, but let's check the charge big swing. I don't know. I've never, I don't really use the sour bow Alex. I don't know how much that changed. Let's see here. Let's charge in this. That is less overhead. I think that seems about the same as I remember it. Let's take a look here. And yeah, they feel very more, every slice seems very intentional, kind of just very quick. Okay. And the charge up. Yes. Another stab. I wish I made a swing noise, honestly. And then of course, what a lot of people probably want to know is this guy. Yeah, there's like a little build up and then a quick slap. And of course the charge. Okay. So what do you think about the new changes to the weapons in grounded? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are you going to stick with the same weapon or what? Let me know down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, I got fish. <laughs> ah, double fish. Uh -oh.